This is a chronicle of my personal experience exploring the real life equivalent of Initial D. This is real street racing and drifting in the mountain roads of Gunma. This is Drift Hunter. Hey guys, so if you've been following my Instagram, uh, you might know that I've been uh, thinking about picking up a new car, a uh, Subaru Forester STI. So this is a very, very cool car because it is not available in uh, overseas, only in Japan. And it's the only Forester STI that Subaru ever made. I've been thinking about picking up a new car because, well, after moving to Yokohama, I realized how much sense a, uh, like a car with a lot of space has. And not that I'm gonna sell the roads or anything, but I think it would be really, really handy and very, just, you know, just good for life to have like a good daily that I can depend on and I can rely on. Uh, since the roadster is, well, right now it's in the shop, so it's not, it's not very reliable per se. I mean, like the AC blew again and like, you know, there's a few things wrong with it, so. Um, but anyway, so today I'm gonna go to this shop, which just happens to be down the road from where I live. So I, th I thought, well, why don't I go check it out? I might as well, since uh, it might not be there very, very long, and if it's a good deal, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll even pick it up. So, uh, I just thought it was kind of uh, meant to be, you know, like I, I, I searched for this car online and, I mean, this place was super, super close, so, you know, what? Let's spend the afternoon uh, checking it out. So let's go see, uh, let's go check it out, see what it's like. So we're here at the shop, and uh, there's this STI Forester that I've been checking out. Might have to uh, take out some some car payments on it, but, I mean, it is actually very affordable. Uh, yeah, this is a very, very cool car. Let, let's let's take a look. I, I really, really like it. Uh, it's got a few minor kind of like cosmet cosmetic imperfections, but in general uh it looks it looks really good so it's got the sti rims in silver it's got the brembo brakes with stock ride height um yeah it's a it's a very very cool car it's a very very cool car uh here is the other sti that's just behind it uh, i actually have an opportunity to maybe check out another sti for a pretty decent price uh same generation so it'll be bit of a challenge to figure out which one to pick up. After all is said and done, the, the Forester STI is going to probably go for about uh, maybe $14,000, $13,000. Um, but the STI that I'm looking at is it's a white one, not this one, but that'll be maybe, yeah, maybe about about $3,000, $4,000. So significantly less for a, like the same platform, but this one just has more space and looks cooler. Um, but what, 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 do you, what do you guys think? Which one would you go for? Alright. <clears throat> so it has the cool STI seats. The only thing that that's an issue with it is uh, the center console. It's it's made out of this very, very, very soft coating. Like the coating on the plastic is incredibly soft. So in all of the Foresters, it's, it's like all melting off. It's very strange. But aside from that, that's the only cosmetic issue I see in, in the interior. It's very nice. It's a one owner car. Um, it's got, you know, like the STI badging, uh, STI stitching, everything. Like the interior is very, very, very clean. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's a very nice car. Have a, let's have a seat on the inside. So, let's move this one up a bit. Okay. Right. Yeah, so this is a very spacious car. It's uh, very, very exceedingly practical. And the cool thing is it has 265 horsepower. So for an SUV, that has, that's built on the same platform as the Impreza WRX STI. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I think it's, it's, it's sporting heritage will definitely offset like the added weight, which is only 70 kilograms actually. So that's like the weight of one person and uh, the extra height. So aside from that, I think it's a very, very capable performance car actually. Uh, more more than an SUV per se. The interior actually looks much better than I, than it did in the pictures. You know? It's, a, it's utilitarian, it's all plastic, and like this is like peeling. But aside from that, you know, it actually looks 
better than I thought it would in the pictures. So that, that's nice. Uh, the only thing is, is this is kind of bothersome, but I heard that you can replace this with a new part, they still sell it. And you can always just wrap it. So I, if, if I bought this car, I would probably wrap this in carbon fiber trim, which is like a sheet or something, right? To make it not so, so sticky. Um, but the wheel looks good. The wheel looks like it's in good condition. And, um, so it only has 63,000 kilometers, which is uh, quite nice. Yes. Think I should buy this car? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, give me reasons not to. <laughs> like, uh, maybe I don't really need a second car. Well, actually, I, I, I kind of do. Um, but it's anyway, it's very cool that I was able to find this car really close by and uh, we'll see what happens uh, If this is the last time you ever see this car Well, maybe someone picked it up and to them Congratulations, and I'm happy you're able to get a cool car Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so I'm back in the car back in the loner uh, Which is a Subaru R2 so from a Subaru to another Subaru. Okay, so anyways what happened was I sat down with the, uh, the guy at the dealer the dealership and um well, well, the truth of the matter is I don't have like about $13,000 just like lying around in my bank account. So I thought, well, maybe I'll apply for a loan and let's see, let's see uh, what happens. Um, the thing about getting a loan in Japan as a foreigner is that it's, it's very difficult unless you fulfill certain criteria that, um, that kind of shows that you're going to be staying in Japan for at least the duration of your, your loan term and also that you have like a nice, stable, steady job that will allow you to pay for it. I mean, $13,000 is not a huge lot of money, but it's, it's still a significant amount. So, you know, of course, banks want to be able to to collect on their uh, payment because, you know, I guess their fear is that if they lend money to a foreigner, that foreigner is just not just going to leave the com leave the country uh, before paying off the whole loan in full. It's that the loan company usually uh, takes into account are things like if you have permanent residence, uh, if you're married to a Japanese national who could possibly co-sign a loan. Um, uh, what else, like the type of job that you have, um, the class of job that you have, like for example, if you're a part-time employee or if you're a full-time employee, uh, these things are all taken into consideration. And um, I think the most important actually is whether or not uh, you have permanent residence, which I heard is, is very, very important. Uh, well, anyways, long story short, unfortunately, they didn't approve me for, for the loan, uh, for better or for worse. Um, you know, I don't, I don't like the idea of going into debt for a car. Um, but on the flip side, I thought, I, I think the Super Forester is actually going to go up in value over time. So in a sense, um, it would be making money in the long term. Like, I mean, I, I could be totally wrong, but uh, just my, my impression is that this is going to become a car that's going to become more desirable as time goes by. Uh, especially since you still can't import it uh, into the States. And if you, in a few years, you will be able to. Uh, so I think some people would like to have a, a Subaru Forester as yet. Like the loan itself is not a very big amount, so it's definitely something I would be able to cover just uh, on a monthly basis. That'd be no problem. But long story short, like uh, they they denied me for the loan, so that dream is a bit shot. And uh, unfortunately, I won't, I won't be able to pick up the um, the SA Forester on uh, on a car loan. So back to the drawing board. Uh, but it was good to check it out. It was very nice. The guy who was working there helped. Uh, uh, he really, he's a really genuine and very, very earnest and like he kind of uh, was very helpful. So I really appreciated that. But that being said, you know, hopefully something, uh, an opportunity will come up and I'll be able to pick up that car because I think it's a really, really, really cool car. Just in terms of the fact that it's, it's, it's the ultimate sleeper, right? It's very, very practical. Um, you can fit like a fridge inside and you can fit five adults in, in comfort. And uh, it just seems like the ultimate car to go snowboarding and go camping and go to the beach and like do all this like adult stuff. So, uh, so uh, I, I think if I can find another one, um, hopefully in better condition even, uh, I, I definitely would like to pick it up uh, in the future or at least when I'm you know eligible to be able to But you know, the other way is if I just make a lot of money and uh, make a lot of money, just buy it out in cash, like that would be the ideal situation. And you know, I, I did some calculations and it would only take 500 t-shirt sales um, for me both to be able to, to buy the car. So if you really love this channel, um, if you really like
like my content, what I'm doing, check out the merch store right here, right here, right here, right here. Um, pick up a t-shirt, you know, uh, I would really appreciate it. Uh, or a hat, or a, I don't know, something from the store. And um, yeah, that's just my little pitch. Uh, if, if you don't, it's fine. You don't have to, just keep watching the channel and uh, share it with your friends. All right, so today's Japanese word is zannen. And zannen means, uh, how would you say it? It's like, too bad. So it's a, it's a bit unfortunate, it's too bad about what happened today, but I'm sure another chance will, will come. So, you know, just be positive and things will always work out. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. This whole rant is getting a bit long. Uh, thanks for watching again. All right, peace. Bye, guys.